oral sex, cunnilingus, fellatio. Yep, this episode is on oral sex. I've gotten a lot of emails from you guys asking all sorts of questions about oral sex. Um, most of them, it's some sort of problem and some are big problems, some are small. Um, you guys just kind of wanted a bit of uh, insight or information. And I've responded to each of you individually, but I was thinking, you know, maybe this would be a really great video for everyone, all the viewers who would watch, but might not send in messages or even leave comments. So what about oral sex? Well, first of all, we're going to assume that you know what oral sex is and you have a basic knowledge of how to do it. Now, this isn't a guide on how to give oral sex. If that's what you're looking for, Sorry. The other really big critique I've been getting is that these videos aren't arousing. Guess what? They're not meant to be. <laughs> that said, um, I can foresee three main problem areas, I guess you could call it, for oral sex, which is taste, feel, and smell. If you don't like the sight, or the sound it produces, your problem might go a little deeper than this video is gonna address. So, let's just start off with taste. Um, we're gonna talk about both men and women here. So, uh, a good thing for both is make sure that your partner or you have showered beforehand. Now, the worst thing you can do is say, Hey baby, so uh, just so gonna let you know if we're having oral sex tonight, you better get you know go take a shower. Probably a major buzz kill. So instead, you can just cozy up to your honey and suggest a sexy shower for two. Who knows? It might not even make it out of the shower. Secondly, is maybe you're just really bored with the taste of it, or you want something interesting. I highly recommend. A great way to spice up your love life is to get some uh, flavored lubes. Now one thing you want to definitely be sure of is that if you get a flavored lube, it has absolutely no sugar in it. Some of them out there still do. And if there's sugar in it, you're not going to want to put it anywhere on her. And if it's on him, he would have to uh, wash up and make sure it's all off of there before you had um, vaginal intercourse because any sugar up inside of her is going to cause a lot of problems. So go out there, look for some flavored lubes. Um, in a couple episodes past this, I'm going to actually be talking about some of my favorite ones, um, some that I've heard really great comments on. But you know, go browse the internet, browse your local sex store. You know, some of you guys have great ones, some that are a little they're a little seedy, but uh, the last issue is on taste is swallowing. You know, men and women uh, kind of have different views on this. Um, I've actually talked to some, a lot of, well, I wouldn't say a lot. I've talked to some gay men. And they actually say that swallowing isn't really an issue for them. So I guess it's kind of a straight guy thing um, that they really want to see the girl swallow. Or and maybe that just shows that she's really into it and she's really enjoying it. But keep in mind, that's totally not a uh, a necessity. Girls, if you hate, you know, if, if it hits the wrong place in your mouth and you just can't change that no matter what you try, if it has a particularly bad taste to you, you really have two options. You can either have him let, you know, right before he's about to come and finish off with your hand, or you can have him come in your mouth, but then, you know, immediately spit it out. And if you keep it toward the front of your mouth, you're gonna have the minimal amount of, of taste involved. So that's taste. As for feel, a lot of times with oral sex, people complain of neck aches or just fatigue, especially you men out there, because um, it kind of takes your, your girl probably a little longer than it takes you to uh, reach orgasm. So, um, you know, find a position that works for you. 
there are so many different possibilities. Uh, not all of them are going to use your head in the same way. In fact, you don't even need to stay in the same position while giving oral sex the whole time. Try it one way, try another, and that's going to give different parts of your neck a rest um, as you go on. So really, when it comes to feel, just um, find a position that, that's going to let both of you guys kind of put in the m most minimal effort. Because uh, that way you can focus on not trying to support yourself. You can focus on what you're doing and enjoy it. Um, enjoy giving and enjoy receiving. Uh, so, yeah, just don't think that just one position is the way to go. Try different things out. The last is smell. Again, this goes back to make sure um, you guys have taken a shower. Um, or uh, flavor lubes will work with smell as well. Um, if if you guys really have a problem beyond that, there's probably something wrong going on. Uh, whether it's a, an infection or I don't know. I think this complaint is becoming more and more common because we live in a more and more sanitized kind of world. Everything has to just be bleached clean. Whereas um, before, or even now it can be this way, the smell itself has a ton of pheromones in it and it can be incredibly arousing. You know, when you know your lover's scent, their, their sexual scent, and you get to smell that up close, as long as they're clean and there's no infections going on, it probably shouldn't be a bad thing. Which kind of leads me into my last point, and I'm, I know I'm just touching on everything really briefly, but it's a huge topic, I'm trying to keep it short. So my last um, bit to say is, I've, you know what, I've gotten a lot of emails from the ladies saying, what the heck is up? What is up with guys not giving oral sex, or not doing it very often? You know. I think women more and more are getting used to giving oral sex and that being the expected and not the taboo these days. And I think guys are, are kind of keeping along, but now I'm getting all these emails from women and I'm, I'm kind of having to question that. Um, I think that oral sex is a, especially if you're not doing 69 or mutually giving oral sex, one person is receiving pleasure while the other person is giving it. And sometimes it's very hard to just receive for some people. And sometimes it's very hard just to give for some people. So they get bored. They don't see the point in it. Um, they'd much rather be doing something that made them feel good too. But the truth is a lot of women can, a lot of women report only being able to orgasm through oral sex. So men, by saying, yeah, you know what, I'd rather be having sex, like vaginal sex, you're, you might be completely depriving uh, your partner of an orgasm or maybe just the most intense orgasm. She might be able to orgasm from intercourse, but she might even be able to orgasm um, more or harder or more intensely through oral sex. And so, if you don't enjoy giving oral sex or if your partner is having issue with giving oral sex and you've covered the taste, the feel, the smell, you know you're good to go, I think you really need to start questioning what kind of uh, relationship you have, what kind of physical relationship you have, the give and take that's there. Is your partner willing uh, to just give you pleasure without expecting it in return, like right away, like, okay, my turn. Or, or just having to rush on to vaginal intercourse. That's only a question you know you can answer, and it's only something you can judge. I'm not going to tell you it's a bad relationship if, if your partner is unable to just give pleasure, uh, without the promise of return. But it's something I think you need to think about, uh, and it's something you should be able to talk about with your partner. Again, all these issues. 
a lot of you guys come and send me messages and you talk to me and that's great and I can listen and I can give you guys some advice maybe or just some information you guys can do what you want with that information but in the end it's about talking to your partner so trying to wrap it up that's that's my uh, my take on oral sex is it's a great opportunity just to show your partner that you care about how they feel you care about their satisfaction and experiment with it you know enjoy that's that's the whole point of having a physical relationship with somebody so um, this is my last sex ed series for the month not that I did one before this month um I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff um, next time you guys see me in an advanced sex ed issue I'm gonna be in a different location because I'm going away for the summer but I promise I'll be around and I have more to bring you so I hope you guys enjoyed this please leave comments video responses if you want message me if I didn't cover something hey it's great and um, I will be talking to you guys really soon again next issue I promise I promise I promise is going to be BDSM but I have something kind of uh, a little more interesting maybe for you guys than just me sitting here talking to you guys on the camera so we'll see I love you all um, keep the messages coming I'll try and respond to them although the next two weeks are really busy so if you send me a message and I don't get to it for a full two weeks don't freak out I will get to all my messages when I'm done with the chaos which will be around May 2nd so I will see you guys soon thanks for joining me for another advanced sex ed issue I'll see you guys next time.